So I work in an area of science where we develop theories and molecular models and do simulations of, of systems in order to understand their properties. One of the areas I'm particularly interested in is systems which are non-equilibrium systems, systems out of equilibrium. So if we wanted to model a battery, for example, it's not good enough to just model the materials that make up the battery. What we would like to be able to do is to model it while it's operating. And while the theories to, to model a system which is not operating have been well developed, those that have needed to uh, model them when they're operating is not so well developed. So for example, we could see the effects of changing the composition of an anode or a cathode in a um, battery and look down right at the molecular level and see what effect that has. It, sometimes it's very difficult in the laboratory to really control what you make, uh, whereas in the computer you, we can control it precisely. So we're interested in looking at fluids which are flowing and flowing under really extreme conditions like you might have with a lubricant. The properties of the fluid um, can change when you shear the system, so when you, it's operating. And this could cause, for example, the, the lubricant to become too thin or too thick and, and not work how it's supposed to work. So this happens in lots of different cases when you have extreme flow and being able to model that down at the, at the molecular level allows us to get insight into how we might modify that the, the composition of that material to make it perform better. We could also use it for beneficial purposes. So if we wanted to make something, if we shear it really strongly, perhaps we could change the way the chemical reactions occur and we could make some new products as well. AIBN is a great place to do this type of research because we have people from all different fields. So I get exposed to lots of different problems. And so if I see a problem where I think perhaps computation can make a difference or development of theory could make a difference to that project, then you know it's really great to be able to contribute to the work in, in that way 